Hey, it's Darlene, and today I'm making some card fronts, and eventually cards, using these layered stencils. Now, these stencils are really cool. First of all, um, I just kind of flashed on, but they have guides on which stencils to use as far as numbered order. So there's a one on the corner, two, three, four, five, you know, what, et cetera. And also on the stencils are little corners or little... Um, notches that show you where to place your paper so that they line up perfectly and that's a huge help especially when you're layering um you know on top of each other um but you'll see me as i go through i'm just going through every layer adding colors usually when i play with these stencils for the first time i try to emulate the colors that are on the sample just so i get a better feel of what goes where and and how it all works so this is one of the first times that i use this stencil so or i had used it before but it's been a long time but anyhow like i said i'm basically just going through each stencil stencil step and putting down some color using the paddle brushes and some ink um, that i have in my stash so once it's all done this is the final layer here and you'll see the revealed panel which is gorgeous and um, once it dries for a little bit, these are some other stencils that I have. I made these panels already, and I'm going to be showing you later at the end how I finished up and made them a little bit prettier, if that's possible. So once all this is dry, I do trim it down to actual four and a quarter, oh, excuse me, four by five and a quarter, um, because the panel that I used is your normal five and a half by four and a quarter and that's what the uh, corner um, little notches line up to so I pulled out some glitter glue um, stickles whatever you want to call them assortment of both and decided to really jazz these up um, now looking back I probably should have started on that top left corner and worked my way down luckily I didn't do any smudging mostly because I moved the paper around but um, I used the clear stickles just to put like dots everywhere and um, the yellow the inside of the well any of the yellow spots so I don't know if you can really see the shine there but I know oh, here here's a better shot so isn't that so pretty now I did need to leave those to dry overnight before I finished up the cards which is a sample right here now to um, work on the other panels I used two different color splashes for the um, the card fronts for the yellow one I did yellow and also silver which you'll see me do here and then um, and I just kind of put it around the edge now I wasn't too worried if it went into that circle area but I really was trying to concentrate on the edge and I did the same thing with the pink panel using a pink and a clear sparkle so um, you can really see that there it's so pretty with the extra splatter and then I used my misty to put the sentiments on all the cards because I wanted to make sure I got a good dark impression so there you go on that I hope you do like this check uh, stick around for the card reveals over at the end if you do like these please make sure you give me a thumbs up leave a comment if you have any questions and um, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already a subscriber. But aren't these cards stunning? If you haven't played with these layered stencils, I recommend that you get at least one set. They're a little pricey, but I think they're worth it. They're just gorgeous. And here's this one, a little close up on the first two cards that I made. Gorgeous. Thanks for watching. Bye.